Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and today I'm doing another video on our game collection and this time going over our GameCube games. So the GameCube, I don't know exactly with uh, Devin, but the GameCube was the first uh, console that I had. So I played on it quite a bit as a kid and growing up. Um, I know Devin had it as a kid as well, and so he played quite a bit as, as well. So we have a number of games for the GameCube. The only thing is, and uh, probably one of the big reasons why it's not much bigger, is, um, well, if you know anything about game prices nowadays, GameCube games are just awful right now. I don't know if they're the worst system right now. Well, probably not. I mean, there's Neo Geo and they're always really, really expensive. But it's up there though. And so, while I don't always buy the really cheap games, I am fine with saving up a little bit um, for some games that are more pricey that I really, really want. It kind of sucks when everything's expensive pretty much, so it's not very enticing for collecting right now, at least for me. But I'll go over what we have currently. I think this stuff is mostly Devin's, because uh, he kept a lot of the GameCube games that he had growing up. I kept a few, and then some of them I know my brother uh, took because he, he bought them, so obviously you take them bro um and some of them i think we sold off so uh yeah someday i'd like to get back a few of the games that i don't have that i used to and really liked as a kid like um uh, mario kart double dash i really liked and i don't have it anymore so that's definitely one I eventually want to get but yeah uh, for now this is what we have so let me, let's just get into it first up is aggressive inline um I think this is a rollerblading game. <laughs> this is Devin's. He likes the Tony Hawk games, and so I guess this is kind of similar, perhaps? But I have no, no idea how good it is. And we have Chibi Robo, probably one of the more pricier games in my collection. Yeah, probably. Top 10-ish. It's ridiculous how expensive this, this is. It's really good. Your little, little robot cleaning and Traversing the, the house is really interesting because you're like this big and everything's huge compared to you. And uh, like I th think it's probably expensive because it is really good. Uh, it's pretty unique. And then Nintendo's just like, meh. I think they made a DS sequel and uh, that was Japan only. And then they made a 3DS like spin-off thing that is like a 2D, 2.5D platformer, which that's not why this is good. It's not a 2D, 2.5D platformer. Uh, and then there was this little mini thing on the 3DS uh, where you use the camera to take pictures of things or something like that based on their size or color. It was weird. Also, why is Chibi Robo a part of this? This feels like Nintendo's like, you guys are asking for Chibi Robo a lot. Here you go, here's Chibi Robo, but it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm very frustrated about that. We need a new Chibi Robo, Nintendo, an actual Chibi Robo. Don't say that the last one didn't sell well, so we're not gonna do a Chibi Robo because the last one was not really a main Chibi Robo game. Anyway, enough ranting about that. It is very frustrating that it's very expensive though, because um, I would want more people to play it, but it's like a couple hundred bucks, so that's rude. Then we have Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. This is Devin's game. Uh, I played a little bit of it. It's kind of this weird multiplayer thing where you have to stick in your um, Game Boy Advances to the GameCube if you want to play multiplayer properly. It's it's strange. This also got a remake sort of on PS4 and I think a Switch as well. Unfortunately it kind of got borked up. Um, especially got borked up for New Zealand and Australia for a while I, I think because the, the servers were all dumb. So yay but this version as a kid I know Devin really really like this, but uh, I haven't really played this version much. I've more played the newer one and 
gave up once I figured out that the multiplayer was not going to work out very well. But I'll probably get back to it, though. And then we have uh, another Devon game, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Unfortunately, another really expensive game, because it's not on anything else. And it has Ike. I guess. I, I don't actually know why, what, why certain things are expensive and not. Maybe low print run. I don't know. Oh yeah, no, in addition to that, we also have um, the Japanese version of it. I think Devin got this as a kid, and then was very sad to learn that GameCube has region locking, so he couldn't play it. And uh, I don't think this is his original uh, kid copy he had as a kid. I think we had to rebuy it, buy it, which was, oof, it's expensive. Um, but yeah, strategy RPG, I've heard it's really, really hard. So, ooh, that's not going to be something I play for a while. Then we have Gauntlet Dark Le Legacy. This is something that uh, is, is more Devin's game, but I also have played it a bit and I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is a port from the arcade, I'm pretty sure, and multiplayer beat em up -y type thing. It has kind of some good humor and it's pretty fun. Very, very silly. Um, then we have, I have two copies of Harvest Moon, another one of life. Now the reason why I have two, you might be wondering. So um, this, this is one of my favorite childhood games. Playing it now, I realize it's not that fun because, well, unless you play with cheats, which was how I was playing as a kid anyway, so it's not that fun without it. But anyway, um, farming, it's more realistic than some of the other Harvest Moon games. Yeah, anyway, I had this kid, really enjoyed it, and uh, this is my copy, my uh, original copy, but the, uh, I guess the disc got scratched or something, because it stopped being able to get past a certain cutscene in, in the game. It would just freeze, and then, okay, I guess I can't play it anymore, and I've tried restarting it, and it just would screw up, and it wasn't fun. Like, when I check the disc, it doesn't look scratched, so I don't really know. Maybe it was my GameCube, who knows. So, um, I just bought another copy, and this one does work for sure, so... I have two copies, yay! Uh, what's also interesting is they are a little bit different. Um, so if you don't know, I'm Canadian, and so this is a Canadian version. You can uh, kind of see, see how it says it's in French, or the manual's in French? Yeah, the manual is in French and the Canadian thing. The game is not in French, and um, this does not have does not have that. It's this is an American copy. So I just thought that was very interesting. And then I also have Harvest Moon Magical Melody. This is a bit more cartoony Harvest Moon game, which I'm sad a little bit about that direction, but it does have an interesting opening, more open. Uh, farming thing. You can buy multiple properties and you can do a lot more with your um, with your farm, I guess. And it almost has this weird achievement system <laughs> kind of thing with these magical notes. Like you have to collect a certain many, certain amount to beat the game and you can also collect all 100 to get a special thing. And they're pretty much achievements. <laughs> it's like, oh you did a thing, good job, this is the achievement. It's kind of funny. The reason why I didn't like this as much, though, um, at least as a kid, now, I'm not really sure, but as a kid, um, you can have a kid in this game with, uh, when you get married. You have a baby, yay! And the baby in here stays as, like, a toddler forever. Particularly because in Another Wonderful Life, your kid grows up to be an adult. There's aging in this game, which I thought was really cool. Also, didn't have to hear the baby cry all the dang time, and I hated the baby in this. And I was so annoyed with it, I actually emailed uh, Natsume, the publisher, like, does the baby ever grow up? Um, and I think I also emailed them about, uh, there's this boulder in the game that's blocking away, and like, does it ever go away? And they're like, no, it never grows up, and no, the boulder never goes away. And I was like, oh, this is stupid. I, I still don't like that as much, and I think it's kind of a downgrade. But maybe I'm the weirdo who likes the aging thing in that harvest, in, an, yeah, in another wonderful life. I like that. I don't know. Am I weird? Yes, but because of that, I don't know. <laughs> Next is Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I haven't played this. This is Devin's 
but I eventually want to play it. Zelda on a boat. I'm hoping for a Switch remake or port or something. It's also on the Wii U, but I don't really like playing much on the Wii U. So uh, please, Nintendo Switch version. And then we also have Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This one uh, I had as a kid. This is the same copy as well. Uh, much more dark Zelda game compared to Wind Waker as well. And uh, I really liked it. This is, mm, this is probably my first Zelda as a kid. So there's also some nostalgia there and whatnot. Uh, I know this one's kind of an odd one for some people. Some people really like it, some people don't. I'm more on the really like it side. I am, um, I have beaten this, I think I've beaten this more than once actually, uh, but I also would like a Switch port of, of the, um, or at least the HD version, which is also on the Wii U. I want that on the Switch though. And then we have Luigi's Mansion, another one I had as a kid. And poor Luigi is going in the mansion trying to save Mario, get those goose. It's very funny and um, it has a good atmosphere to it. So I, I really like that. There's some parts about it that are a little tricky um, as a kid at least. Uh, I didn't have as much problems beating it again as an adult, but yeah, it's really good. I don't know how the other Luigi Mansion games are because I haven't played them and I've heard mixed things, so I don't know. Uh, eventually I want to play the, the Switch one at the very least, the third one. Not sure about the second one quite yet. And then we have some Metroid games. We have Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime Echoes. I think, oh, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, sorry. So Metroidvania, first person, really popular series. I have no idea which ones are good and which ones are not. These are both Devons, but I think he likes them. I don't know. I haven't really asked him his opinion about them. I do want to play them at some point. It would be nice if they got like a Switch collection though, because there is a Wii collection, but that, I'm pretty sure that's still expensive. And then uh, this one's my game, uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I think it's this, this is the second Paper Mario RPG type thing, back when Nintendo was making them good. Um, I mean, I haven't played the new ones, uh, but they don't look like what I like about this. There's nice proper turn-based RPG to comment, lots of humor, um, lots of interesting ideas here and there, but it isn't incredibly easy. It does have some hard, difficulty, difficult parts in it without being too evil. Lots of hidden things to do and all that stuff. So I, I wish that Nintendo would do something like this again, but I don't think it's happening because I think they don't know what to do with it because they're like, we have Paper Mario and then we have Mario and Luigi RPG and they're, we can't have them too similar, but they're pretty different, honestly, to me. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little miffed that they took that in a weird direction. And I know a lot of other people t are too. Then we have Pikmin 2, another one I had as a kid. And um, <laughs> this, I, have no, I haven't beaten this because uh, I find it scary <laughs> as a kid. I'm honestly still a little ooh <laughs> about trying to play it again. Um, it's just scary because you're controlling these little Pikmin guys and then all of a sudden a like, enemy comes out um, that I didn't see and then it just eats half of my dudes and then I'm like... Ah. And it gets dark and yeah, but I do remember enjoying parts of it. It's just, wow, especially the caves get really spooky. I need to get back to that though. Then we have SSX on tour and this is SSX tricky, but no cover for that. Uh, Devon's, both Devon's games. I do want to play these though. Um, there's no boarding games, more on the arcadey side. And I do tend to like that kind of thing. I just haven't gotten around to playing them. I may have played one of these in an arcade machine. I feel like one of these is, an, is in an arcade machine. Or if it's not, then something similar to it. Uh, I've definitely played a snowboarding game in an arcade, and I really like that. Um, then we have some Star Wars games. Um, Star Wars The Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3. 
I don't know where the other two Rogue Squadron games are. Are they even on the GameCube? I don't know. Um, I know nothing about these other than they're Star Wars and um, Devin's games. And then we have Super Mario Sunshine, another one I had as a kid. And um, it's really difficult, but I do, or at least for me, it's really difficult because some of the jumpy rounding things are just weird for me for whatever reason. But it is a nice, bright and cheerful kind of game, and I really like that. And then it's mean, and then I don't like that. Uh, you have this um, water rocket hose jetpacky thingy they use to get around, and that's really fun. And I don't like how they have some sections where they take it away from you. <laughs> They're like, no, I don't like this platforming here. I want the thing. Ah, uh, Flood is his name. Give me that. Uh, another one of Devin's, but I also had it as a kid as well. It's just, it's not my copy. It says um, Super Smash Bros. Melee fighting game. I really liked it, although I'm terrible at it. I never got particularly good, just more button mashy, and uh, Devin really likes it too. I think he's a little bit more on the actually playing well side <laughs> than I am, but, but it is a lot of fun. This is my introduction to Roy, and he is my boy. That is for sure. I really like Roy. And then we have Super Monkey Ball 2. This is Devin's game. Um, I have played a little bit of it. Um, you know, like tilting around the board, guide your monkey in a ball <laughs> to get to the end in these uh, puzzly courses, plus some mini games. Um, Devin really, really likes this, and he seemed to be pretty happy about the. Um, there's a Switch collection remaster thing coming out with the first two and then Deluxe, I think, in a pack. So I bet he's going to have a blast with that. Uh, but it can be pretty difficult at times. So I played a little bit here and there, but I'm really bad at it. And then uh, we have Swingers Golf. It's a golf game. More arcadey. It kind of almost looks like a Hot Shots golf game. But I'm pretty sure it's made by a different studio, but it just kind of looks similar. Um, I guess this never got very far though, because as far as I know, this is the only game in that series. And then we have Tales of Symphonia, another Devon game. Classic turn bit not turn-based. I'm used to saying turn-based. It's an action RPG. Very classic one. I pretty sure this is usually one of people's favorite tales of game in, or up there, if not the favorite. I don't really know much about it. I've tried a little bit of it, but I tried to play without a guide and how much I need to level up, and uh, that didn't end well. Uh, it's definitely something you have to grind a little bit more than how much I tend to want to do without guidance, <laughs> honestly. I don't like grinding that much, so um, this kicked me in the butt. But I do want to give this another shot at some point. Uh, probably the PS3 remastery collection-y thing, though, because we have that as well. Then we have Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Stealth Action Refl Ref Refined? I, I think it's a stealth game. It's Devon's. I don't know what it is. And then we have Tony Hot Pro Skater 4, unfortunately with no cover. Skateboarding game. Another one of Devon's. Uh, I may have played this, but I'm really bad at Tony Hawk, honestly. Um, I, I do want to try the new remake of the first two, but of, of the older ones I've tried, I'm really bad. And then the last game we have here is uh, another one of Devon's, and that's Top Gun Combat Zones. I, there's planes. I don't know anything else about it. Um, anyway, that's all the GameCube games we have as of now. There's a lot that I wish we could get, but I don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a few games. Um, GameCube games are not right now, at the very least. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on any of these games or some of your favorite GameCube games, I'd like to know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again in another video. Bye!